Hey guys, this is John from Klein Tools, and we're going to talk a little bit about the proper techniques to tapping new holes. Uh, we have many tools uh, that can do the tapping, and we're going to talk about one new one in particular. But first, I'm going to show you some of the tools that we currently do have, such as our six-in-one tap tool uh, right here. Um, but one of the things I want to show here is a broken tap tool which is often a result of improper technique of tapping. And what we're going to do right now is to show some of the procedures to properly tap to get the best life out of your tapping tool. Now what I'm showing here is our new multi-bit tap tool. And we'll use this. It works exactly like any traditional tap tool that Klein already offers, but it has a couple of features that I'll show in a second. But first I want to talk about tapping a new ground screw. I have a box here, and there is a ground screw right there, but often you'll find that that maybe is not the right place for a ground screw and we want to try to place one in another area. And this box you can see has many holes in it and there's one right here that's really prime for tapping. The problem is, is it's not, it, well, the issue is, is that it's not threaded. So that's what tapping is going to do. We're going to thread that hole. So the first thing I'm going to do is just decide what size I'm going to need to tap it to. And in this case, I'm going to use the 1032 tap, which is the third tap on this side of this screwdriver. So I'm going to go down into the hole. And when I feel some resistance, I'm going to slowly start turning. And as I start turning and start feeling resistance, it's starting to cut the thread. And one of the things I'm going to do is back it off and remove it, clean off any of the metal shavings that are there, and then continue on. Very often, people will start feeling the resistance and start threading. And the more resistance you hit, it's actually cutting the hole, but it's also damaging the tool. And the result can be something very similar to a broken tap like this. So we're going to take care of that. We're going to tap it, a few, you know, thread it, back it out, thread it until you're fairly certain it's gone all the way through. And then at that point, we're going to install a new ground screw. Now, this tool is great because all I have to do is flip it around, and I can find the correct screwdriver head, and I can actually install the new ground screw into the new hole that I just threaded. And if done right, you can actually get your tap tools to last for quite a long time.